Hi everybody, my name is Paige. I'll be guiding you through your practice today. Uh, we're gonna get started in a cross-legged seat. So however you wanna get there, you can also come onto your heels, whichever is most comfortable for you. You can sit on a block. And we're gonna put our palms face down on the knees today. So we'll start to close the eyes, roll the shoulders down and back. And then just starting to feel where your seat connects with the earth beneath you. Bring your awareness further down. Almost imagining as if the earth is pulling you towards her. Getting slightly heavier on each breath. Starting to notice where the breath's at. Feeling it flow in and out. Kind of take a few rounds of box breathing just to slow down the mind and to land on your mat more fully. So we'll start by exhaling out all of your air, anything you're holding on to. When you're ready, take an inhale through the nose, inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold for four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold four, three, two, one, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold for one, two, three, four, take a round or two on your own, going deeper within, just being right here, right now. Feeling what it feels like to not have any air in the body and holding at the top and the bottom. Finish up your last round. Bring the breath back to normal. Letting this be your anchor for the next hour. Anytime you want to float away, coming back to these inhales and exhales within the body, honoring what you need, doesn't even matter what it looks like, putting your body's needs above all else. When you're ready, take an inhale. And exhale, open mouth, sigh, release. Start to flutter the eyes open. <clears throat> Bring our hands to our ankles. So we'll take a kind of a seated cat cow. So on the inhale, we'll bring it forward. And then on the exhale, pull it back round out your back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward, stretch out through the shoulders. And then exhale, pulling it back. Seeing if you can keep your chin parallel with the mat. And then just take a few rounds on your own, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Take two more rounds. Finishing up your last round, we'll come back to center. We'll take a few circles, leaning off to the right, forward, and then pull it back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Finding any spots throughout the ribs that you want to release. We'll slow it down and take it the other direction. Starting to open up through the hips. Take one more round, find any spots left. And then we'll come back to central neutral spine. We'll inhale, lift the arms, really reach here. And then we'll exhale, bring the hands down in front of you and move into our tabletop position. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are under hips. Can wiggle out once you get here. 
And then we'll take our cat cows on the inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest, reverse cat. Inhaling to cow, shine it through. Exhale to cat, rinse it out. Inhaling through. Exhaling back. Take a few more rounds on your own. You can maybe take hip circles, look back at opposite heels. Sometimes closing your eyes, going within, finding what you need, listening to what your body has to say. Take one more full round. We'll come back to neutral spine. From here, we'll lift the right arm out long in front of you, left leg sweeps back behind, engaging the core, breathing here, creating length throughout each vertebra. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, bring elbow to knee underneath the torso. Inhale for length. Exhale together. Inhale for length. Exhale together and hold here for three, two, one. Inhale long and exhale lower. Take a second, wiggle that out. And we'll take it on the other side once you're ready. We'll inhale, lift the left arm, right leg sweeps back behind. Press down through that right hand, spreading the fingers out wide. One breath in. And on your exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, length. Exhale, together. Inhale, length. Exhale, together, and hold for three, two, one. Inhale, out and lower. Take one more round of cat-cow. Maybe hang out in your cat pose, inch forwards or back. Find any more spots here. And then once you feel ready, come back to neutral. We'll tuck the toes under and we'll reach it back to our first downward facing dog. Upside down V shape. You can pedal out the feet, shake the head yes and no. Really start to warm up through the body. Let the head hang so heavy here. Spread the fingers wide and notice if there's any tension in the jaw. See if you can release every muscle in the face. Maybe sway your hips side to side. Once you've found some stillness, coming up onto your tiptoes. So lifting the heel, we'll drop them over towards the right side of the mat. So stretching off to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Drop them over towards the other side. Breathing as you still release through the shoulders. No tension in the neck or the jaw. We'll come back to center. From here, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. And then breathe it out. Last one. Deepest inhale yet. And exhale, release it, open mouth. We'll start to walk the hands towards the back of the mat. So taking your forward fold at the back of the mat, you'll heel toe the feet about hip width distance, dropping your head super heavy in your forward fold. You can keep your knees bent in this first one so we're not laying into the hamstrings just yet. There's no tension in the neck, the, sh the shoulders, or the jaw. We sway side to side as you start to release one vertebra at a time. Taking deep breaths into the stomach can really help with digestion. So if you need that, breathe in deeply. Take one more full inhale. Then exhale, release your hands back to the mat if you took them. And then heel toe them the feet back together. And take an inhale to a halfway lift, half. Engage to the core, flat back. Exhale, fold, release. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, engage to the core. Exhale, lower fully. 
Now on this first inhale, we're gonna come up to our mountain pose one vertebra at a time. So super slow, chin is on the chest the whole way up, stacking one on top of the other. Take your time. When you're ready, slowly lifting the arms, press through the feet, create some length through the entire body. Ground through all four corners of the feet. And we're gonna grab the left wrist with the right hand, pulling up and then over towards the right side of the room. Create some length through the ribs, keep breathing. Inhale back up to center, reverse the grip. Lifting up first, then over, breathing into the right side body. Come back to center, release your hands and interlace the hands behind the low back or the fingers behind the low back. This is kind of get into the shoulders here, so maybe pull the knuckles down to your degree. If this feels okay, maybe lift the chin slightly open through the throat. It might be a little bit intense, so if not, just come back to center. Wherever you're at, just breathe, pulling downwards. One more breath in. And exhale, release. Bring the chin back parallel, hands will come to heart center. Take three deep breaths here, close the eyes. Maybe setting an intention for your practice. Just going deeper within. Take a full inhale, and exhale, open mouth, arms fall to your side. Inhale, tall arm mountain pose, really reach. Exhale, hands through heart center, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands out to your high plank, top of a push-up pose. In your high plank heels pull towards the back of the room. Try to make sure that the weight isn't just in your upper body. So we're shifting it towards the glutes, the core, the legs. And breathing deeply here. And press through the hand. Next, we're going to shift the weight two inches forward. Bend the elbows straight back so they're sliding along your wrists and lower all the way down to your mat. Untuck the toes here. We'll take three baby cobras to warm up the spine. On your next to inhale, peel just the chin and chest off, lifting slightly. Exhale, lower back down. Breathing in to lift. Breathing out to lower. Last one, peeling the chin and chest off. Deep breath in. And deep breath out, come back down. From here, tuck the toes under. Coming back to your high plank pose, top of a push-up, and back to downward facing dog. That'll set up our first flow of the practice, our sun A's. We'll take them one breath per movement, knowing that your breath can line up with your movement. It doesn't have to match my cueing. When you're ready, take an inhale. Then exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up, mountain pose, open the arm. Exhale, flow back down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant hands, step back, high to low plank. You can go halfway or all the way down to your belly. We'll inhale, flip to tops of feet, shine the chest through, open up. Exhale, pull back, downward facing. Breathing in. Breathing out, we'll meet at the top of the mat, traveling there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way, mountain pose. And exhale, flowing back down, moving with the breath here. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, take your vinyasa or pull straight back to your downward facing. Inhaling upward. Exhale, down dog. Breathing in here. Exhale, step or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, root to rise all the way up, mountain pose. And exhale, flowing back down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high to low plank, taking your flow here. Inhale, shining through. Exhale, pulling back. Last time through, breathing in. Breathing out, step or jump, top of the mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. All the way up to mountain pose, breath in. And on your breath out, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, down dog, nice work. Take a second here, maybe take an open mouth side, release some heat. And when you're ready, take a breath in. And exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, full. Inhale, chair poses. Next, sinking it back. Weight is in your heel. Sit, bending into the knees, hands can be at heart center. Arms can reach towards where the front wall and the ceiling meet. Find any spot that feels good on the lower back. So breathing as you sink it back, weight is in the heel. Imagine like you're sitting into a chair that's just out of reach, but keeping the breath flowing before you go any deeper. The next exhale, we're gonna airplane the arms back behind us, still in chair pose, keep breathing. Inhale, back up, tall arm. And exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, take your flow, or pull straight back to down dog. Inhaling upward. Exhale, downward. Moving on here, we'll inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step through between the hands. Inhale, warrior two. Warrior two, front knee is bent, back foot is parallel with the back edge of the mat. Arms are pulling away from one another. Stay here, settling in, maybe extend that front thigh a few times if you need to settle into the right hip. Once you've found some stillness, settle that gaze on the front right middle finger. Just breathing nice and deep here. Then we're going to take exhale, extended side ankle, right elbow, right knee, left arm sweeps towards the front of the space. Press through that back foot so there's one long line of energy from your left foot all the way through your fingertips. Breathing as you roll open the chest. Make sure you can still lift that bottom arm. Next, inhale, reverse the warrior. Le left arm comes down, right arm comes up. Keeping a bend in the front knee. So we're still in warrior two leg. Optional look at your back foot or towards your top hand. Find whichever is better for your breathing and keep it flowing. Take a breath into your right lung. And exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Optional chaturanga or back to down dog. Inhaling upward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step through between the hands and inhale, warrior two. Opening up, arms pull away from one another. Remember, you can settle into this hip. Warrior two is a hip opener, so that left knee is going to track towards the left side of your space. So we're opening up, arms are still active, maybe spread the fingers, drop the shoulders away from the ear. Locate the breath. The next exhale, extended side angle, left elbow, left knee, right arm sweeps towards the front of the space, press through the back foot, roll open the chest and keep breathing. You can still, should still be able to lift that bottom arm. And we'll inhale, reverse the warrior. Right arm comes down, left arm sweeps up. Make space through the ribs, pulling the fingertips away from the hip crease, keeping the front knee bent. Keep breathing. And then on the next exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Stepping the left foot back this time, optional chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, down dog. We're going to flow that entire series one breath, 
one movement, generating some heat in the body, and just helping us become more present. Remembering to take it at your pace. When you're ready, take an inhale. And exhale, step or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink it back. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, taller. Exhale, release. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, take your flow or pull it back. Inhaling upward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse, lay it back. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, shining your chest through, open up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, reach it forward. Inhale, reverse, reach it back, stretch it out. Exhale, high to low plank, take your flow. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior two, flowing here. Exhale, extend and reach it forward. Inhale, lay it back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two, open it up. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high to low plank, moving with your breath still. Inhale, shining the chest through. Exhale, pulling back. Last time through, it's all you, taking your pace on both sides. Maybe closing the eyes, going within. Finding what you need. One breath, one movement. Stretching it out, one breath. <clears throat> nice work, we'll meet back in our downward facing. There is no rush to get here. You can take a few breaths here in your down dog, maybe grab some water towel off, take a second off the shoulders if you would like. Remembering open mouths, exhales are always welcome. There's an option to come to your child's pose. When you're ready, we'll be back in our downward facing dog. There is no rush to get here, knowing that you can join in at any point. This is your practice. From your downward facing dog, we'll inhale, lift the right leg. And exhale, bring the right knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale for length. Exhale, step through between the hands for a low lunge. Low lunge, hands are on the mat, back heel is lifted. Option to drop the back knee down if that's better for you. Once you feel steady, we'll plant the left hand, lift the right. So we're opening towards the right side of the room, open through the chest. Spread the fingers wide here. I'm going to take three backwards arm circles. So on the exhale, dropping the hand towards the back of the room. Inhale, shining it through. Exhaling lower. Inhale, lift. Take three of those. Really working into the shoulder. 
And once you're done, we'll bring the hand back to the neck. Coming back to our low lunge. And when you're ready, we're going to lift to full crescent. Arms come alongside the ear. Torso lifts, so it's almost vertical. In crescent lunge, all ten toes face the front of the room. Back heel lifts. Arms are lifted, but drop the shoulders away from the ears slightly. See if you can make some space as you breathe. Let's exhale. We're going to cactus the arms, open through the chest, bend the elbows. Keep breathing as you gaze towards the front of your space. Inhale, come back up, tall arm. We're going to exhale, take an open arm twist. Left arm sweeps forward, right arm sweeps back. Twisting using the core, breath is still flowing. Pulling the crown of your head towards the ceiling. So keeping this a nice tall twist, bringing out anything you no longer need. Inhale, come back to center, crescent lunge. When you're ready, we're going to press off into warrior three. So balancing on the right leg, hands can come to heart center, or they can extend out long in front of you. Finding one focal point, press through your back heel. Next inhale, we're going to bring the left knee in towards the chest for one-legged mountain pose. So arms sweep up towards the ceiling, balancing on that right leg. And when you're ready, we're going to sweep it back. Warrior three. Here we'll land back in our crescent lunge. Gracefully take your time. And then open up to warrior two. Resettling into your warrior two. This time we're going to take full side angle. So we'll bring the right wrist inside the right shin, ankle, or to a block. We're going to roll the chest open. Big part of this here is pressing through both of your feet so we're not just dumping into that front hip. See if you can make some space between the torso and your leg. Rolling the chest open, maybe taking a half bind, wrapping the top arm around the low back, or staying right here. Two breaths here. If you took that bind, release it. Then come back up to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, stretch that out. When you're ready, bring your hands back to the mat, planting them. Set the right foot back to meet the left. Hold in your high plank. We're gonna take our side plank next. So right hand comes two inches forward. We'll roll onto the right hand. Open towards the, right, the left side of the room. Option to drop the bottom knee here in your side plank. Stack or stagger your feet. Take any variation you want. Just keep breathing and rainbowing the hips up. On the next exhale, lower your hand to the mat. Set the earth, then we'll take your flow or pull straight back to your downward facing dog. Always your option to take those chaturangas or not. So you're back in your down dog. We'll inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to right elbow with control. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step that foot through for your low lunge. Hands are still on the mat here. Option to drop the back knee down. Once you're here, we'll plant the right hand, lift the left. So open through the chest, spread the fingers. When you're ready, we'll take our backwards arm circle. So exhaling towards the back of the room and then inhaling towards the front. Seeing if you can open up throughout the shoulder blade, throughout the, the rotator cuff. Just take them at your pace. We'll slowly bring that hand back down to the mat. Tuck the toes under and we'll come up to our full crescent lunge. Arms are alongside the ears, torso lifts. Option to drop, keep that back knee down or lift it. And crescent lunge, really press through the back foot here so we're not just laying into that front quad. Both legs are active. The next exhale, we'll cactus the arms open through the chest. Keep breathing as you look towards the front of the space. 
Inhale, tall arm. We'll exhale, take our tall arm twist. Right arm sweeps forward, left arm sweeps back this time. You maybe want to gaze towards your back hand, towards your left hand, deepen the twist, or stay right where you're at. Locating the breath. Inhale, come back to center. And when you're ready, we'll press off into warrior three onto that left foot. Right leg extends back behind you, engaging the core and the glute. Arms can stay at heart center, or they can extend long in front of you. Next inhale, coming into one-legged mountain, bringing the right knee in towards your chest. Arms are alongside your ears. We're going to sweep it back to our warrior three, still balancing on this leg. And then we'll lower back down, crescent lunge. Once you've landed in your crescent, open up, warrior two. Settling in here, taking our full side angle. So bring the left wrist inside the left shin, ankle or two a block. Remember, still pressing through both of your feet. This is tough on your low back, come up slightly. Option to bring that right arm around the low back for the half bind or keep it where it's at. Roll the chest open and keep breathing. Letting any discomfort that's coming up, let it, letting it arise. Noticing what the mind wants to do around it. If you took that bind, release it. Come back up, warrior two, and reverse the warrior, stretch it out. We'll bring the hand back to the mat, stepping it back to our high plank, taking side plank, left neck. Left hand comes two inches forward, rolling on to this side. You can stack or stagger the feet, or option to drop the bottom knee. Breathing as you rainbow the hips through, if it's available. One more breath. Exhale, lower the top hand, optional chaturanga, or pull it back to your downward facing. Inhaling, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Nice work. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, open mouth side. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step through between the hands, and inhale up to crescent lunge. Coming up to our crescent. Next, we'll bring the hands to heart center. Then we're going to lean it forward and take our twist. So we're going to bring that left elbow to the right knee, twisting towards the right side of the room. Option to open the arms here or stay where they're at. Twisting using the core, maybe taking your open arm. Two more breaths here. Next exhale, release your hand to the mat. We'll take a runner's lunge. So drop the back knee to the mat. Untuck the toes. Heel toe the right foot off towards the right side of the mat. So coming down. You can either stay on tall arms or maybe come down to the forearm. For me, it feels really good to roll onto the knife side side of the right foot. Starting to open up through the hip flexor. If you've been sitting a lot, this is a really good one to take and really just breathe into. Take one more breath. And we'll come back up to tall arms if you did come up to your come down to your forearm. Heel toe the right foot inside the hand. <clears throat> then we're gonna pull it back. For a half split, so right leg extends, then we'll fold forward over that leg, toes pulled towards the ceiling, head drops towards your shin. Hands can be on blocks here or water bottles, whatever you need, if you need a little bit of space. And then just breathe really deeply into the hamstring. We're going to go ahead and rock this two times. So on the next inhale, we'll bring it forward, bend the right knee, shine the chest through, 
and exhale, pull it back, toes pull towards the ceiling. Inhaling forward, exhale, pull it back, stretch it out. We'll come back, bending the knee. We're going to move into standing split neck. So pressing off onto the right foot, hands are on the mat or on block. And we'll lift the back leg. We're going to square the hips first though. It doesn't matter how high the leg goes, just making sure to look back at your hips, see if they're square. And just breathe here as you drop your head towards the shin. If you want to play around with some balance, maybe bring one hand to the right ankle, maybe both, or just stay where you're at. Exhale, slowly land back, warrior two, just briefly reset. Take a second. And then once you're here, we'll bring the hands back to the mat, optional flow. Inhale, shining through. Exhale, pulling back, nice work. Inhale, left leg lift. And exhale, step it through between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, coming up, lifting through the torso. Arms are alongside your ears to get started. Then we'll bring the hands to heart center. Lean it forward, bring the right elbow to the left knee, twisting towards the left side of the room. Option to open the arms here. If you, didn't take, if you took that on the other side and don't want to take it here, that's fine. Just keep breathing as we twist. Pull the crown of the head towards the front of the room. One more breath. And we'll exhale, plant the hands back on the mat, taking our runner's lunge. Drop the back knee to the mat. Heel toe the feet over towards the left. Untuck your back toes as we start to sink into the right hip flexor this time. Again, undoing the sitting. Maybe rolling onto the knife's edge side of the left foot this time, so opening through. Keep breathing. One more breath here, stretching it out. If you came down to your forearms, come back up. We'll heel toe the left foot inside the hands, pull it back for our half slip. So left leg straightens out, toes pull towards the ceiling, drop your head towards your shin. Hands can be on blocks here if you need some space. Breathing into the hamstring. You want to go a little bit deeper, maybe square the hips, see if there's any spots you can find. And rock this two times. So on the inhale, bend the knee, bringing it forward. Exhale, pull it back. Toes pull up. Inhale forward, bringing it for through. Exhale, pull it back. Pull the toes up. Inhale, come back up. Moving into our standing slit next, pressing off onto the left foot. Hands are on the mat or on blocks. Right leg is lifted. Dropping your head if that feels okay. Making sure to square the hips first. So looking back and seeing. Option to play around with your balance. Maybe bring one hand to the right ankle or the left ankle or both. <laughs> and slowly land back into warrior two. Just reset briefly. Opening through, take a second. And then we'll bring the hands to the mat, cartwheeling down, optional chaturanga or pull back to your downward facing. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Then go ahead and take a child's pose here. So bring your knees to the mat. Knees are as wide as the yoga mat as well. Big toes touch. And bring the forehead towards the mat. Arms are spread long. 
You want something a little bit different, you can also take rabbit pose. Rabbit pose, you bring your knees together, and then you reach your hands back for your heels, if that feels better to you. Just find either. And come back to your breath. Noticing if there's tension in the jaw, see if you can release it. Any tension in the face, starting to melt, shoulders as well. <clears throat> Are you ready? We're going to make our way back to our downward facing. There is no rush to get here. Once you're back in your down dog, we'll inhale, lift the right leg. And exhale, step it through between the hands. Inhale, warrior one, coming up this time. Back heel spins flat. Arms are alongside the ears. Warrior one, press through that back foot, just like in crescent lunge. Keep both legs active. Hips are slightly off center towards the left side of the room. Drop the shoulders slightly. And then on the next exhale, we'll hover the chest, airplane the arms, reaching it forward. Keep breathing as you work the triceps towards one another. <coughs> breathing deeply here. Inhale, come back up, tall arms. And then we'll exhale, or this time we're gonna bring the hands to the low back. So we'll interlace the fingers, pull the knuckles down for humble warrior, open up. And then exhale, bring your right shoulder inside the right knee, dropping your head, just rinsing out through the shoulders. See if you can release your neck, jaw. Feeling the strength and the power in your lower body and the surrender in the upper. Breathing into any discomfort. And slowly come back up, warrior one. We'll exhale, take warrior two, opening up on this side. Once you're in warrior two, we'll take three flying warriors. So on the inhale, we'll extend the front leg, arms sweep up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, draw the energy up. And exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower to your warrior two. Next inhale, reverse the warrior, stretch it out. And exhale, we're gonna move into half moon. So right hand comes a few inches in front, front of the right foot. Hand can come to a block or a water bottle. Left hand can come to your hip or can extend to stack with your right. Keep your back foot engaged. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can look off to the left. We'll land back in warrior two, slowly coming down, take your time. Once you're here, extend the right leg. Reach it forward with the right hand, then come down to your degree for triangle pose. Left hand is lifted here, stretching off to the inner thigh. Keep your core active here, so we're lifting just slightly still. Inhale, slowly come back up to center. Keep your right leg extended. We're going to take reverse triangle. So just like that, but the opposite direction, right leg is extended. Come back to center. Turn your feet to face the left side of the room. Toes will face away from each other. We're going to take one goddess pose. So hands can be at heart center or they can be in full goddess. Sinking it back here. You can bring one hand to your stomach, one hand to the low, to low back to see if you want to level out through the pelvis, if that feels better. Remembering to connect with the breath here. Maybe sway side to side, maybe pop up onto one heel or the other, or one toe or the other. <laughs> one more full breath. Next inhale, slowly come back up, five-pointed star, stretch that out. 
And we'll bring the hands to the hips, toes face straight forward or towards the left side of the room. Inhale, we're going to lift through the chest, pull the elbows back, and then lower to prasarita, dropping your head towards the mat, hands release, shoulders release, everything releases. Take a second here, just imagining everything falling off the back, letting the spine decompress one vertebra at a time. You shake your head side to side, yes, no, release anything in the neck. Bring the hands back to center if you moved them. And inhale, lift halfway. Turn to face the front of the mat, planting your hands. Step the right foot back to meet the left and take your optional chaturanga or pull back to downward facing. Inhaling upward. Exhale, down dog. Last side through, we'll inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step through between the hands and inhale, warrior one. Warrior one, arms are alongside the ear. Setting up on this side, press through your back right foot. Hips are slightly off center towards the right. Next exhale, we'll take, hover the arms, airplane, hover the chest, airplane the arms rather. Breathing as you pull the triceps and the shoulder blades together. Keep strong through the lower body. Inhale back up, warrior one. Bring the hands to the low back, interlace the finger. Inhale, pull the knuckles down, open through the chest. And exhale, bring the left shoulder inside the left knee, dropping the head, neck, shoulders. See if you can release the jaw. Noticing what the mind wants to do around this comfort. If there's any pinching or pulling, coming back up and releasing. Inhale, slowly come back up, <clears throat> warrior one. And exhale, warrior two, opening towards the right. We'll take our three flying warriors here. So on the inhale, extend the front leg, arms sweep up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, draw it up, last one. And exhale, sink it back down, warrior two. Next inhale, reverse the warrior, stretch that out. And exhale, moving into half moon, slowly press off onto the left foot. Left hand can come to a block, a water bottle. Right hand can come to your right hip or extend straight up. Keep breathing here. Engaging the core and the glute. And we'll land back, warrior two. From here, left leg extends. Reach it forward, then come down to your degree for triangle pose. This pose, imagining that someone is pulling up on your top hand, so keeping it nice and tall, breathing as we stretch it out. Slowly come back up and reverse your triangle. The left leg is still straightened. Left arm reaches towards the back of the space. Come back to center. Turn the feet towards the right side of the room. Take a five-pointed start here and really stretch it through. So maybe a slight back bend. You can open the mouth, release the jaw, spread the fingers. Just take advantage of stretching it out. Slowly come back to center, turn the feet towards the right side of the room. We're going to interlace the hands behind the low back. This time we'll pull the knuckles down, open through the chest, and take our prasarita with this arm variation if it feels okay. Dropping down. If, you don't, if this doesn't feel good in your shoulders, you can use a strap or a, a towel. You can also release this arm variation at any point. If it doesn't feel right, just letting it go. Pose is such a good release for the nervous system. 
giving all of your organs a break, giving your mind a break. Release the hands to the mat. Next, we're going to plant the left hand and lift the right. So we'll open towards the back of this face. Trying to keep the hips level here, just taking a gentle twist. Lower the top hand, and we'll take it the opposite direction. So left hand lift. And then we'll lower back down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, turn to face the front of the mat. Plant your hands. Step back to your high plank, holding here. So you're in your high plank. Engage the core, keeping it long. You can either stay here or we'll come down to our forearm for forearm plank. In this plank, you can also drop your knees if that's better, but we're just going to get into the core. Breathing deeply here. Pull the heels back. Someone held this for like 80 minutes or eight hours or something, so that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> 10 more seconds, keep the breath flowing. Feeling the belly button pulling towards the spine. And then we'll lower all the way to the mat, dropping the left cheek onto the mat. Arms can come long at your side. Take a second to do nothing. You grab a towel, some water. Next, we're going to bring the chin back to the mat. I'm going to take a sphinx pose. So sphinx pose, the elbows come underneath the shoulders. Forearms are out long in front of you like an 11. Palms are face down, so you kind of got to walk your shoulders underneath. Yeah. And if that's too intense, you can walk your elbows further out in front of you. And we're going to gaze just a few inches in front of the mat and breathe deeply. This pose is really, really good for anxiety, calming the central nervous system, giving you a break. So stretches the abdominal wall and opens the chest, strengthening the back muscles. So I really like this pose, if you couldn't tell, but it's a good one. <laughs> it feels okay, maybe starting to lengthen towards the front of the room, stretching out each vertebra. Before we come down, starting to bring it forward and then lower one vertebra at a time. Opposite cheek rests on the mat. Arms can come long at your side. Next, we're going to take a locust pose. <clears throat> so chin will come back to the mat. You can either take regular locust with your palms face up or face down, or you can take a variation that will help open the shoulders. So interlacing the fingers, just like we had before previously in practice, at the, low, at the low back. So when you're ready, we'll inhale, pull the knuckles towards the back of this space. Breath is super strong here, or keeping your arms at your degree. Option to bring the legs with you if it feels okay. It's a notorious one for holding the breath. So keeping it flowing as we engage every muscle on the backside body. Almost there, one more full round of breath, lifting and lengthening out. And exhale, lower all the way down, opposite cheek rest. Start to bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs side to side. Bring them back, and we're going to take a spatula pose next. So right arm comes out like a wing, directly out from your shoulder. We'll roll onto this side. Left hand is underneath the left shoulder. So we're pinning the right pectoral down. You can bring the right foot outside the right leg, maybe bending the knee, maybe not. If you need a little bit more here, you can flip the right palm face upward. So 
slowly come back to center. Right arm comes in, left arm sweeps up. We'll roll onto the left side body this time. You can bring the sole of the right foot outside the right leg if it feels okay. Keeping your head on the mat, just relaxing. Lower back to our stomachs. Coming back to center and we'll press it back into our child's pose. Take your time. Also come to rabbit, whichever your body needs, just taking a second to reset through the spine. When you're ready, we can come up to a tabletop. We'll slide both legs or both feet towards one side. We're going to come onto our seat at the front of the mat. Legs are going to come out long in front. So we'll inhale, bring the arms up towards the ceiling, really reach first for staff pose. And then exhale lower to your degree. Hands can come to your knees, shins, ankles, maybe the feet. Just drop your head towards the shins and breathe. And inhale, walk the hands up the legs. And then we'll lower all the way to our backs. Just taking a second here. Once you're here, we'll take a reclined figure four, reclined pigeon. So we'll bring the right ankle over the left knee. You can either stay here if that's enough for you, or you can start to lift the left foot. Maybe bring the hands behind the left, or the, yeah, the left quad, <laughs> or the left calf if you need a little bit more. Keeping the right foot flexed. So breathing deeply as you protect the knee as well. For me, if you need a little bit more, there's a few more spots you want to get, you can kind of lean towards the left. See if there's any spots. Just breathing, open mouth, exhaling. One more full breath. And exhale, open mouth, release. Start to unwind the leg, shake those out. And then we'll take it on the opposite side whenever you're ready. So the left ankle comes across the right knee this time. You can stay here or lift the right foot. You can interlace the hands behind the right quad or maybe the right calf. Flex that left foot and keep breathing into the left hip flexor. And open mouth sigh whenever you're ready. And we'll start to unwind. Bring the feet back to the mat. We'll take one bridge pose to open up through the front side body. Supported bridge can feel really nice if you have a block placing it underneath your low back or sacrum. Or just regular bridge will start to press into the feet. Lifting the low back and the hips off the mat. If you took this, maybe walk the shoulders underneath, maybe clasp the hands underneath your low back. And just breathe deeply here. If you need a little bit more, maybe coming to your tiptoes or staying right here.
One more deep breath. And then we're gonna slowly come down one vertebra at a time, just gently laying your spine back on the mat. We'll windshield wiper the legs side to side. And then we'll take Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of feet meet, legs butterfly open. You can have one hand on heart, one hand on the belly, or hands can be above your head for a cooling effect. Wherever you're at, just take a second. Use your hands to guide your knees back together. And start to bring them into the chest and rock side to side. Bring your hands around your shins and maybe take small circles. Just massaging out the low back, massaging out the kidneys, finding any spots along the spine that you want to release. Take happy baby pose next, so grabbing the outsides or the insides of the feet, pulling the knees towards your armpits, maybe rock side to side or stay right here. We'll bring the knees back to your chest. Arms come to capital T. We'll drop the knees over towards the right side. Gaze can go left or straight up. Taking a second in your twist. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. We'll start to drop the knees over towards the other side. Gaze goes the opposite direction or straight up. Inhale back to center. And bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself one final squeeze here. Tightening all your muscles, breathing in. And exhale, lower everything down to your final resting pose. Shavasana. Feet flop open. Take up space on your mat. Arms can come long. Maybe opening the mouth really wide, release your jaw. And just start to melt. Letting go. Letting your body absorb all that work.
starting to come back to the breath. And start to wiggle all the fingers and the toes. Roll the wrists and the ankles in both directions. And when you're ready, taking a full body stretch, pulling the arms away from the feet, keeping your eyes closed. to bend the knees and we'll roll over onto the right side. Just take a second here. slowly come up to a seated position. Eyes are still closed. Palms are face down on the knees. Take a second to drop the shoulders away from the ears. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. And on your inhales, imagining something that you're really grateful for and watching it grow in your heart. And then on the exhale, sending that gratitude to someone in your life. Just cultivating that, breathing in whatever you're grateful for. And sending that appreciation to someone. When you're ready, take a deep inhale. And exhale, open mouth, release. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Gently bowing forward. Namaste. 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 Namaste.